I can't get it any taller. But, um, good morning. I'm actually filming this on Saturday. This is my first weekend vlog. But I felt like... I'm going to break my back. I felt like vlogging this weekend because I'm actually like doing some stuff and um, I think it's going to be kind of fun. So today, this morning, it's like 7 a.m. I have a wedding this morning that I have to be at at 9. It's kind of close. Thank goodness. So I don't have to wake up terribly early. This is still kind of early for me, but <laughs> it used to not be. I did once wake up at 6 a.m. for work for a couple years, so <laughs> I don't know that I'm actually going to vlog the wedding because keep in mind I am working and I have kind of a tight schedule today. I have six people that I'm doing and the schedule is tight. Like I, I normally prefer 45 minutes to do a client just so I can feel comfortable. I am 40 minutes back to back to back six times. That's probably why I won't vlog. I just want to make sure I get everybody done on time. Anyways, I know you can't see me, but I'm getting ready this morning. I am only doing mask makeup, so I'm only doing my eye area. Uh, so my mask makeup routine, I always use my Fenty Beauty eye brightener, whatever eyebrow stuff. So lately I've been enjoying this e.l.f. Bite Size Brow Palette, and then I use the palette that I have closest to me, which happens to be the Vizzy Art Garanze Volume 1. This is the OG one. So I'm going to do my makeup, and I'll show you how it looks in a second. Okay, makeup today, I told you. Mask makeup, so I don't have anything on my face. And I did just barely enough to prove that I know how to apply makeup for my clients to trust me. So I just did mascara, shadow liner, and as basic of an eye look as I could do. But I did wake my eyes up, so I feel better. Cute Abercrombie sweatshirt, cute Ana Luisa hoops, nothing too crazy. Oh my gosh, I hate waking up early. <laughs> This week, y'all, it really did turn fall. Look at that frost. That's not my car. <laughs> it's a random car in front of my house, but uh, I gotta warm my car up. Kit is all packed. I do have a kit tour if you want to see what's inside my bags and where everything is from, but I always leave it open overnight because I'm always paranoid I will forget my brushes because I washed them the night before. So I leave it open to make sure I remember brushes need to be in there. <laughs> Got my kit packed here. I don't think I gave my car enough time to defrost, dang it. Is this what I'm supposed to do? Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess I don't need these windows defrosted, but I like vision out of all four of my windows. Okay, so I just made it to the venue, and one of the things <laughs> that always makes me anxious is I need to find the bridal party. There's a few buildings at this venue, so I do not know where the bridal party is getting ready. <laughs> I think I've been here before, but I think the last time I was here was like three years ago. It was like when I first started doing makeup that first year. Um, and I remember walking into this building not knowing where to go and I couldn't find anybody <laughs> to sh tell me where to go. And I think that's about to happen again today because I do not remember where they were getting ready. I'm working with another hairstylist today, so hopefully she comes and we can <laughs> walk in together. <laughs> I'm gonna keep an eye out for her. But anyways, that's one of the things that you just don't think about when being a makeup artist. It's finding where the bridal party is.
Like, not even when I was a kid. Good! Holy moly. The power of Airbrush and Foundation. Oh my god. If I ever get to wearing makeup more often, I need to get one of those. <laughs> so we're happy with it? That is amazing. Good! did have to move because they were doing something. But now, here's our, our little setup. So I have only one more client left. So I've got five down, only one to go, and then touch ups. From the wedding it was really good but I didn't get any before and afters just because everything was really really fast-paced and the lighting wasn't that good anyways but I finished the wedding and now we are going to drive to DC with my parents and we are gonna visit the Red Eye Market, I think it's called. I think it's their first time in DC. It's Southeast Asian vendors coming for an event. And we're really excited because my mom is from Southeast Asia, so we don't get that style of cuisine very often. So we're making a mini trip of it and we're driving down to DC and then we're gonna stay overnight in a hotel and then come home tomorrow. So it's like a little nice mini staycation-ish kind of thing. My family and I were big, big foodies, so we just decided, let's go. Southeast Asian food doesn't come by very often for us, and we're so excited. So, I'm very tired, though. I got home from the wedding, and um, I had my stuff semi-packed, so I just threw it all into a suitcase, and we're about to head out. Uh, we're here. We are waiting to get checked into our hotel. Yeah. Okay, I'm digging the big windows and the coolest part, Jose likes the lights. Let me oh, sit. Do you want to wake up or do you just want to read? You want to wake up. You can take a wake oh. up. Oh! Very bright. <laughs> but if you're just going like, to relax, take a nap here. Oh, relaxing light. Just be in there, just the intensity. It's pretty much amazing, what you would say. Now go to the brightest. Whoa! Yeah, it is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> On our way There's to Ch Chinatown. Well, this is where we want it to be. You can see it says the red eye down here, but um, if y'all saw how long the line was, like literally, what did you say? Like. A half mile we can long. Show them. We can show them. It was like a half mile long. So we're on the other side of the fence, and you can see bodies on bodies. So now I'm like, is it even worth going? It's been hours, and we are finally eating. That's yours, Jose. We ended up at a ramen place. Looks pretty good. Mmm. So this evening was an evening. <laughs> of fails so that red eye market way too crowded the line literally half a mile long longer than that multiple blocks it looked like it was going to be hours before we could, we could get in my parents actually stayed in line and they got in it was a long time later and when they did get in it was just shoulder to shoulder they said it was hard to even order the food so that was a fail so i hope you know next time they're there for longer where they make it more accessible. So then, Jose and I went to this ramen restaurant, which we waited, how long would you say? Almost an hour. Almost an hour for? Because, I guess they called for Morgan. They didn't call. They asked a couple that was sitting by, are you Morgan? And they said yes. So then, we got the hint when they started calling couples, two people, 
behind us. But that after were us. after us, and we were like, hold up, hold up, hold up. And then we we're like, Morgan? And they were like, oh, you're crossed off. You're not seated? No. So somebody <laughs> pretended to be us. Um, anyways, the food was good. You saw it. It was pretty good, but. Yeah. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Anyways. So we walked home, we're exhausted. I've had a long day of work as you guys saw. Mm -hmm. We got this cake, $10, kind of expensive for a sample size. Can you show me? Delicioso. Oh, show me, show me. I've been wanting to end this evening with a good dessert. I wonder how red she is. That's because she had a little bit of alcohol. Okay, so I talk about this. <laughs> I, don't, I don't drink alcohol, not because, like not for any other specific reason than it makes me so red and warm. <laughs> I hate that feeling and my ears get red, everything down to my toes. If you're Asian, I have Asian glow and I have it bad. <laughs> like I literally had a sip. Almost, I had a little bit more than a sip, but you know. It takes a sip and I get so red. But anyways, um, which one did it, you dip I, it in the I sauce? use the yellow one. This one looks like more my style. Yeah. That's good. Mm, okay. Might have been $10, but it's pretty it's good. It's 10 bucks. And we got, the, we got the smallest <laughs> drinks too. Drinks like if, this for 20 bucks. I don't know if we are made for the city life. We said we want to move into the city because I, we currently live in the suburbs, but then we complain about the prices <laughs> of everything. But this is pretty good though. Yeah. So that's what I, all I have for today's vlog, really. I'm trying to keep them under an hour, which is <laughs> how long the last vlogs have been. So we're gonna test out to see how one day vlogs go. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Let me know if you want to see more. Make sure you are subscribed and like this video. Let me know if you want to see more vlogs. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.